Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan, and today we're going to take a more technical dive into using the Python features in Mocha Pro Standalone. Now to make absolutely clear, this feature is only currently available in the standalone version of Mocha Pro. If you're in the plugin version, you don't get all these fun scripting tools. I'm aiming this tutorial at beginners, but it does help if you already know a little bit of Python. So, we're looking at this scenario. We have a bunch of layers, but someone has made the severe misdemeanor of not categorizing their layers into a cohesive naming convention. So, all we're going to do is write a script to take a bunch of these selected layers and add a new word to the start of each one. So, let's start by opening up the Python script editor. We come up to the view menu, and Python script editor is in the selections down here with all our other panels. So let's choose that one, and we'll drag it out. As a side note, I also like to keep this particular setup in its own custom layout so that we don't have to do this every single time. So we can see here we've got our Python script editor and our standard windows over here as a Python custom layout. So here is our code window. We have the open button at the top here to open previous scripts. We have the save button to save what we've been working on in the window. And we have the all important run button to run our scripts. Below we have the code editor window where we'll do our coding. And an output window for general errors and printing and so on. So now we can start coding. Let's start by letting Mocha know the details of the project that's open right now. We can do this by importing a get current project function from the Mocha Python library. So we'll type from mocha.project import get current project with underscores. And this is just pulling it in from the Mocha library for this function. Next, we're going to define that variable as a project string. So I'm going to say proj equals get current project. Open bracket, close bracket. So this is now setting the current project into this variable called proj. Now I'm going to tell Mocha the word I want to add to the front of my selected layers. In this case, I want to define all the layers that are specifically rotoscoping and not for tracking data. I'm going to call this variable prepend, and I'm going to tell it to use the string roto. And we define a string by putting it in inverted commas like so. Now importantly, because we want to add it to a layer later, I'm going to put a space here so that we get a space in the front of our layer name. Now we have our project defined, we can have a look inside it to find all the selected layers and add the word to them. We're going to do this by telling Mocha for every layer in the project.layers, if the layer is selected, layer.name is going to equal the prepend value plus the layer. Dot name. So what this is doing is going through every single layer in the layers, checking if that layer is selected, and then if it's selected, setting the layer name to the prepend value plus the original layer name. And that's it. That's all the coding we have to do for this. And now we can go ahead and run it. So I'm going to select the layers I need, choosing shift to select them all, and then I'm going to press run. And you can see down here our first error. We've got an error here saying that it can't import get current project because I've mistyped. So I'm going to come back up to my import here and make sure I put that R into my import. And now it should run correctly. So let's clear that output with this little clear output button over here. And now when we press run, you can see that Roto has been added to the front of every single layer. If we want to do the same for the tracking layers, all we have to do is select our track layers, change the word to track press run, and then the same thing occurs. 
Now we could extend this in many different ways, such as having an actual GUI for this interface to change the words on the fly. You could even have it load as a tool up in our script menu here, or as a button in the interface. Or we could even have it run through the layers and change other properties, such as the motion blur categories, or things like the visibility. If you want to explore further and delve into the Python API reference, it's available online from the documentation section of the BorisFX website, or you can look at the general Python guide up here in the online Python docs, or the online Python guide in the help menu of Mocha Pro Standalone. If you'd like to see more examples for Python in Mocha Standalone, let us know in the comments, or post in the forums at borisfx.com.